Hey guys, we just finished up talking about area and perimeter. So now we are going to move on to multi-step word problems. How we can do more than what, how there's more than one step in a word problem. So you need to be on page 411. 411. Okay. And we are going to go through some word problems together. Now, this lesson is suggesting to use the um, bar model, but if the bar model bar diagram doesn't work for you, that's fine. So let's just jump right in and examine our problems. Josie has $145. She buys a bike for $127. There's a clue word in that sentence. She buys. So is the money gonna go away? Mm -hmm. Next week, she saves $15. Saves is another clue word. Gonna get bigger. How much money does Josie have now? Complete the bar diagram. So we're gonna go through this bar diagram because it's here. And with the other problems, if it doesn't work for you, don't do it, okay? Just know that you're gonna be doing more than one step today. So the all together number, we start off with $145 because that's how, it says that's how much she has. She buys a bike for $15, for $127. Okay, and then she saves 15 and we wanna see how much she has at the end. So we start with 145. What are we gonna do with the 127? We're gonna subtract because she's buying it so her money's going away. So that's gonna be here. So 145 minus 127. I start with my five fingers, can't take seven away. Go next door. Get 10 more, 15 minus seven is eight, three minus two is one, and one minus one is zero. All right, so that's how much money she has left over. She started with 145, we took $127 away. Now, this is how much money she has left over. But we're trying to find out how much money she has now, okay? So this line is the all together money. Well, she had $15, she had eighteen dollars left over from the bike. She saves fifteen dollars more. So we are adding to get that all together number. So I know that the bar diagram can be confusing, and that's fine. If you just want to write the problems out like that, that's fine too. So let's review it. She starts with one forty-five. She buys the bike for 127 and she's got 18 bucks left over. Then she saves 15 more. So we're adding that, okay? Let's see. Let's go down to number three. We're just practicing multi-step word problems today. Okay. Manuel's family drove from Louisville to Indianapolis here. To Detroit, then directly drove back to Louisville. How much farther did they drive than going to Detroit, then returning from Detroit? Okay, so starting off, Louisville to Indianapolis is 114, and then Indianapolis to Detroit is 238, 283, excuse me. And then at the end, it was. 361. So those are my numbers there. So what are we going to do first? So we want to find out from Louisville to Indianapolis and Indianapolis to Detroit is, right? We need to know the red route. Yes, we would add those two together. All right. And now you have eight plus four is 12, three, four, five. I got 352. Now I look back in the question, it says how much farther is this route than this route? Okay. Yep. 
Did I add wrong? Oh, I added wrong. Oops. It was 283, not 258. I was like, what is going on? You were probably confused there too. 114 plus 283. That's a big, oops. All right, four plus three is seven. Eight plus one is nine. Two plus one is three. Okay, now we're on the right track. Sorry about that. Even grown-ups make mistakes. Okay, so now we have this whole, the whole red line. We want to know how much farther this is than the yellow line. So would we add them together? No, because that would give us more miles. We want to know how much farther, how much more, which means we subtract. So we're taking our red route because it's longer and subtracting our yellow route. Seven minus one is six and nine minus six is three. 36 miles farther. The red route is 36 miles farther. So also one other thing is when you have more than one step, be sure to circle your answer at the end. Otherwise teachers don't know which one is your answer. Okay, so let's flip it over. We're gonna be using this to solve number five. Write equations to find out how many more tickets were sold for the roller coaster on Saturday than for the swings on both days combined. We've talked about that before. Use, uh, we don't have to worry about all that. We're just going to solve the problem. All right, how many more were sold on Saturday, roller coasters were sold on Saturday than the swings on both days combined? So what are we going to do with the swings? We're combining them. 138, let me make sure I write the numbers down. If we had been in class, I bet five of you would have said, Miss Peters, you wrote it down wrong. All right, eight plus four is 12, five plus four is nine, seven plus four is three, eight plus two, 92. Okay, and it's asking how many more tickets were sold for Saturday. So what are we gonna do now? Subtract. 486 minus 292. Four, oh, eight fingers, can't take nine away. Go next door, get 10 more. 18 minus nine is nine, and three minus one, two is one. Okay, so we had to find out the swings first, and then we could subtract it. With multi step word problems, you really have to do it one thing at a time and really think about what they're asking. That's why we're circling and boxing clues. Okay, let's go down to number eight. Matt had 327 plastic bottles for recycling. He recycled 18 bottles on Monday and he recycled 123 on Tuesday. How many bottles does he have left? Hmm, am I gonna add 327 to 118? No, that's how much he has all together. Our number is not going to get bigger. So we need to know we've got Monday and we've got Tuesday. So what should we do with those two numbers? We need to add Monday and Tuesday. Eight plus three is 11, two, three, four, two. Okay. So we have to add Monday and Tuesday first. And then what do we do? Can we add that to 327? No, because 327 is the altogether number. We need to know how many more bottles he needs. So we are going to subtract 327 minus 241. Seven minus one is six. Oh, two fingers, can't take four away. Go next door, get 10 more. 12 minus four is eight. Remember to circle. He needs 84, 86 more bottles to recycle to hit that 327 number. Okay. Slow yourself on these words, word problems. And remember, when you're working independently, you're going to be doing more than one thing. So if you just add two numbers, you are not done. Yuki has 142 leaves in her collection. She gives 25. Oh gives means it goes away to her brother 
and then collects 19 more. How many leaves does she have? Let's think about what do we start with? Am I gonna add 25 and 19? No, she's giving 25 away, not collecting 25. Do, that's why those clue words are so important. So she starts with 142. She gives 25 away. So now we need to know how many she has left to add that 19 more. Here's two, can't take five away. Go next door, get 10 more. 12 minus five is seven. Three minus two is one and one minus one is zero. Now what? Correct, we take our 117, that's how many leaves she has left. She's collecting 19 more, so that means we are going to add, good. Nine plus seven is six, one, two, three. 136 leaves she has in her collection. That's a lot of leaves. Where would you keep that many leaves? Okay, one more. And I want you to pause me, try to solve it, and then start me up again to see if you got it right. Pause me now, solve it, go. Okay, hopefully you followed my directions and paused it and tried it on your own. Now let's check. Richard had $236 in his savings account. He got, oh, clue word, he got, somebody gave it to him for his birth, $45 for his birthday, and saved all but 16 of it. So he saved all of it except 16. So what do you think we're gonna do? So he got $45 and he saved all of it except 16. So we're gonna have to subtract that because he did not save that. So we take that out of it, okay? Five minus six, can't do that. Five fingers, can't take six away. Go next door, get 10 more. 15 minus six is nine and three minus one is two. Now what? Okay, that's what he had left over from that $45. So, yep, we're going to add that to the savings account. And that's going to tell us how much he saved. Good job for saving all that money. Hopefully, you got that correct. Okay, so he had $45 for his birthday and he didn't, he didn't save up. He saved all but 16, so he did not save $16. That's why we took it away. Then we added that into his savings account, and he's got $265. That is pretty good. So hopefully, that made some sense for you. Step-by-step -step word problem, one step at a time, and you really have to think critically. What do I need to do first? What is it really asking? So your independent work, it's going to be on page 131. So go ahead and turn to that because we're going to mark off some of the problems. 131. Ah, there it is. And that's in your um, additional practice book. Okay, you're going to do number one and mark out number two. Okay. And then on the back, you're going to do four, and you can mark out using the estimates. Five. You can mark out, if you don't want to do the bar diagram, like I said, don't do it. Just solve it like we did together. Okay, so you do not have to complete the bar diagram if you do not want to. Okay. Six. Yes, it says explain, you do not have to. And seven and eight. Okay, so these problems are gonna be solved very much like we just did together. So you might wanna have that with you as a guide. Plus, 
in your homework book at the top of the front page, there's always some extra, oh, that's not the front page, there's always extra directions. Okay, so it's like having a mini teacher in your book. We're going to continue working on um, multi step word problems next week. Okay, and I promise they do get easier. And make sure you get it checked. This is a big skill, so make sure you get it checked. 